In a faraway land called Yonder, there was a civilization with a methodical way to achieve greatness as a species. In the center of the insult, the capital of Yonder, there was a huge toilet the mayor used to rid the world of scum, evil hole, and corrupted m****. Humanity prospered. Every man, man, and man were happy. <laughs> Until one day, the most corrupted evil scum of them all was flushed in the toilet by the mayor. Being the last of his race, the mountain babies, he had the ability to dig through the toughest mountain with his bare hands. His name was Ferguson. With a boiling rage within, and a lust for revenge, he started digging his way up to the surface. But before doing so, he tapped into something even greater. What's that smell? Some kind of... no cold digger? Uh, I'm feeling dizzy! I'm gonna pass out! Brains. Make them drink toilet water and bring them the poops! Greetings! What a pleasant surprise! Oh, mercy! I was just taking my bunnies for a... I love the smell of dead goober. Every one of them will burn! <laughs> that would forge the future of yonder. Son, the water be tainted. This look to be the work of a mountain baby. But me thought they be extinct. Mm, we need to check out the water source and find answers. Wait, who the foul looking fellow over there be? My savings up on these platforms. <laughs> it's an investment. Surely when someone foolish enough to try and get him comes here, 
they will fall to their death in the toxic water. <laughs> and then I shall enjoy the riches of fools. <laughs> Some impressive moves, son. Remember what me teach you. Hold down and push jump to jump down the cliffs. Do the trick where you push action button on these flies to attach the tongue. Finch, when you hold down sprint, you run so fast that me sure you can make the jump. In some way, you do what other frog cannot. Me. to be a pulsating force that healed the kingdom with its energy. Until the day when everything changed. The day of dark. A mysterious creature who we refer to as the omnipotent being attacked us. He rushed to the brain wheel and shattered it. He merged the brain pieces with demons, giving them immense strength. After this, the humans had to flee to their fortified town, the Innsholt. The appearance of the omnipotent being is all but a blur to me. I think it's his dark magic doing its work on my mind. 
the gods would bless the one who retrieved that brain pieces, but it is a task I fear will never be accomplished by a mortal. 